Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. Shit, man. It seems, you know, nowadays, I noticed that everybody at the welterweight division might not got a championship title. Everybody at the welterweight division might not even have this big, gigantic name that's up in the stars and shit. But one thing that everybody at the welterweight division do got is an excuse as to why to not fight Earl Spence. God damn, man, I ain't never seen nothing like it, man. They cannot find this kid to fight. What's up with everybody at the welterweight division? Y'all know the last time we heard some news about it, what, he was supposed to have been fighting the kid Constantine Panamarev. You know, the dude that looks like Little Mac from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out or some shit. Hey, man, we thought we was going to get that fight. And we seen Earl Spence walking right through that fight. But evidently, uh, uh, Panamarev, man, coming off a tough fight. In which he uh, first he had his what career biggest win for real. He beat Brad Solomon, who's an undefeated fighter, and he outpointed him, man. So Panamara, possibly I don't know, man, may want to not get his record tainted right now by stepping up in there with Earl Spence. You know, some people looked at the business aspect of it. We see Constantine promoted by top rank, and you know Earl Spence is managed by Al Heyman. But there's been talks that hey, that wasn't an impediment. That they still was going to do business. That's what the originals talks was. Given that the IBF stands on the situation. Earl Spence in his last fight with Chris Algeri went in in super impressive fashion. You know, we thought that was going to be the fight that gave us possibly a Kell Brook fight. But knowing that Kell Brook is on his voluntary uh, fight and he's about to line up a big, a big fight for himself with Jesse Vargas. I like that fight. Um, after that fight, I don't know, man. Maybe they, they enforce this mandatory if Kell Brook gets through this next I mean if Earl Spence gets through this next fight and they let the, and they let them two go at it. Earl Spence have a chance to possibly fight a dude who has two titles. So, you know, they, they're gonna approach this shit with delicacy, man. They're not gonna just let it happen just as is. Clearly everybody at Welterweight, man, has got a reason not to fight Earl Spence. Most of the elite people like, man, he didn't put the work in, but nobody don't really wanna give him the work. You know what I'm saying? I, us as fans already believe at this point he's already put the work in. After he, he did what he did to our jury, a lot of people now are really convinced, especially the people who maybe was on the fence about him. So I don't know, man. But it's been some hands extended to some other fighters, most notably Lamont Peterson. Because if you look at the way the IBF rankings right now is set up, they don't even really have a number one contender. That's what uh, all these fighters are fighting for. And Earl Spence should be the number one contender, in my opinion. But he he's number two, and Constantine Panamarev is number three. But, however, Lamont Peterson is sitting right there also, ladies and gentlemen. And, yeah, man. I mean, I'd, I'd be cool with that fight. That's the fight I actually called for after Earl Spence beat Chris Algeria. I said, hey, if you he wasn't going to fight Kell Brook, the fight that I would want to see is Lamont Peterson. And so Lamont Peterson sitting right there ranked fifth. But, however, the issues with him, man, is real iffy, man. I like to see the fight, but if you look at the politics of it, man, Peterson coming off that big win against Felix Diaz Jr. in his last fight. You know, he and it was a tough fight for him. It was a scrappy fight for him. And But given that Felix uh, uh, Diaz is a former Olympian, I guess we can all understand that. But that fight took place, what, at like 144 pounds? They both came in at 144 pounds. They were still light compared to the welterweight division. And the thing with it is that Earl Spence fought Chris Algieri, who some say can be a 140-pound fighter or 144 catchweight fighter, whatever, also. And so Lamont Peterson, I don't know, man, if they got him acclimated to the weight yet, that they'll feel as though he's big enough to step in there with a the big welterweight like Earl Spence. The politics of it can happen, man. They both managed by Heyman. They can set it up. But like I said before, we know the fight before Diaz Jr. Peterson came off the loss to... Um, Danny Garcia, and I'm not even 100%. If I remember hearing Peterson say he will campaign at welterweight, but I think they're still looking at fights at 140 also, and those are options for Lamont Peterson, especially the, uh, the IBF, the current IBF champion at 140. So, you know, they're looking at that. They're looking at post-all possibly. I don't know, man, if they're looking at the post-all and Crawford winner. I mean, they could be looking at other fights is all I'm saying. But I like to see man, Earl, man, him get in there with Earl Spence, man. Real talk. I like to see that fight. Other fights, you know, other than that, they I hear they uh, reached out to Sammy Vasquez also. We know the politics of that. 
So it's just, you know, but the only fight really at the IBF that I like to see Earl Spence get in there with, if it ain't going to be Kel, I like to see Peterson, but I understand what they're risking because Peterson, uh, they're looking at how many losses he got and how many, you know, high profile fights, if he's won or lost, and they don't want to do it at this career, point in his career, man. And, uh, it just don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Somebody need to give Earl Spence a fight, man. They they, they talk about Leonard Bundu is going to possibly be the dude, man. Don't even see Leonard Bundu name in the top five of the rankings, man. You know, at IBF. Leonard Bundu still, he's 42 years old, man. He's coming off, they talking about an eight-fight win streak. And nobody we know, a lot of undefeated, a couple undefeated countrymen I think he got in there, man. But give me a break, man. You know what I'm saying? I, if, if Earl Spence is going to get into a title fight with Kell Brook, he needs to prepare himself because Kell Brook is a big welterweight too, and he has and he's tremendously skilled. So he needs to get himself prepared with a nice up uh, 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 upper level fighter. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody on the lower tier. I thought the Panamaria fight would have been sellable given Panamaria is undefeated and he's coming off beating an undefeated fighter. But I don't know, man. They don't want to tank the dude, man. I don't know. They don't want to. They want to keep his motivation probably going. He's promoted by top rank. Top rank wants a new star. You know, he looks just like Little Mac, man, from Mike Tyson punch out, man. And we all knew Earl Spence was going to, man, chew this dude up, man. Just don't hit hard enough. Uh, definitely not with lack of power. I think Earl Spence would have just walked right through this this dude. And they all knew it. So, I don't know, man. Maybe the IBF also knew that, too. They want to see a better fight. This could be cool in a way, man. Because possibly we'll get a better fight than maybe the Panamaria fight. I just don't think Panamaria was just... Uh, I just not the fight I want to see far as from Earl Spence. I just think that... I ain't taking nothing away from Constantine Panamaria. But just... With Earl Spence... Nah, nah I just don't... Mm -mm. We thought we was going to get Kel Brook. So, give us something... A little better than that. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But these motherfuckers in the welterweight division need to cut it out, man. You know, Daddy Garcia, he's, he's looking past him. Sean Porter's looking past him. Of course, Thurman is looking past him. But if he defeat, if, if Earl Spence defeats Kell Brook and, and Kell Brook defeats Jesse Vargas and he'll have two titles, man, shit, everybody at welterweight is going to then have laser beams on Earl Spence. At least they should. Because he'll have two titles. But we'll see, man. This shit is crazy, man. Leonard Bundu is looking like they, they're saying they're ending the negotiations with him. Uh, they're going to see how this thing go with him. It ain't nothing official yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure maybe Leonard Bundu will take the check. He only has really one loss, man. And that was the that Keith Thurman loss. So, remember, Keith Thurman fought him. And it was just Keith Thurman actually carried him. And, and Leonard Bundu hung in there with Keith Thurman. So, you know, we'll see, man. We'll see how this thing go, man. But get this fight out the way. Just get this eliminator crap out the way, in my opinion, man. All right, just get this shit out the way so we can get to the freaking title fight. Because there's really, other than, like I said, Lamont Peterson, nobody at IBF we want to see. Just get us to the title fight. Throw the question mark. Just freaking pick the random box on it and, and just let it flip through whoever. Let Earl Spence eat his ass up and get to the damn title match. That's what we want to see. Kell Brook now is in a voluntary fight with Jesse Vargas. His next fight will be the mandatory. And the winner of Earl Spence's next fight will be the number one contender, which is blank right now, which I totally don't understand by the IBF. But I don't know. We'll see. Until the next video, Main Man, Made Man, don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man, Made Man, man. This shit crazy, man. Earl Spence, man. He got the body shots heard around the world, man. He got the up to a division like hell to the die. Uh, he got to put in more work, man. But we're going to throw him some lower tier fighters. Nah, if you want him to put the work in, give him, get in there and give him the work. Simple as that, man. He right there, man, and, and pretty soon they're going to have to see this kid, man. It's going to be interesting. So we'll keep an eye on it, man. To the next video, peace out.